Hey guys, it's Michelle. I thought I would do a little haul video. Some of this is eBay. Some of it is just little cool things that I've discovered on clearance and other weird stuff. Anyway, the first thing I want to show you, this is an eBay package. All three of them came in the same package because I wanted the one as a gift for my dad for Christmas because there's a backstory to that, but I'll get to that in a minute. But this is the first guy. Actually, when I got him, these little blue stones that are on him, they broke. So I ended up taking them off and I had these iridescent clear ones which actually worked a lot better than the blue that were originally on here i didn't really like the blue ones that were on here so anyway joey fell in love with him and i kind of did too i had um difficulty with the thought of parting with him so he's actually going to be one of our lawn ornament summer decor things in the house now so that is that one the next one is this he's actually really heavy it's this little uh blue glass snail i have no idea what i'm doing with this one yet i i think this might be a gift for um joe's mom i haven't decided what i'm doing with this snail yet he's cute though doesn't really fit my decor at all <laughs> but he's really cute and he came with it so he will find a home he will definitely find a home this is the reason why i bought this my dad had one of these a long time ago they remodeled the house and somehow this thing got lost we don't know if it was stolen we don't know what happened to it but he's been on this snail binge ever since so this took me forever to find it's this snail here now he is a little chipped which i'm gonna try to fix but my dad had like a love affair with this thing Joey thinks he's ugly. He's kind of creepy in a little bit of a sense. Here, look at his face. He's a little creepy, but he's cute too. There's a whimsy to him. There's a little bit of a whimsicalness to this snail. Um, he needs to be repainted a little bit, but Dad is going to be ecstatic when he sees this thing because I went looking all over the internet for this thing, and I finally found it. So that was the thing... It was just weird because like I was looking for it and I couldn't believe that I found one. I don't even know who makes it. There's no name on it. I have no idea, but I found it and all is right with the world. Next, I got from Five Below. I paid five dollars for this. This is they call it. I think they call it a Kegel thigh shaper or something like that. Um, you can put it between your thighs and you can squish it like this. I was using it for my upper body because if you because it has these little things here on the hands and you can squeeze this. So I was doing this like on my lunch. You could do it like behind your head. It comes with instructions. This was five bucks. Um, it's just great for tension. So, you know, just to like build up strength. So I got that. I actually been bringing it with me to work on my break just so that I have something like to, to work with. Especially like you don't want jello arms. You know what I mean? So that's why I got that. And then this is the other thing. Uh, this was also $5. It's just a skipping rope. I had one. I don't know exactly what happened to it. I don't know if Desi, because it was made out of leather, I don't know if Desi chewed it up on me or if it just from use wore out. I went looking for it and I couldn't find it. So that is this one here. And so like Joe's home. Hello, I'm filming. You can come in. So that was this one. Next, actually, I got at Walmart, and this thing is, like, awesome. I actually found, like, the Glade plug-in section. I was looking for bleach. I found this instead. Yeah, go figure. This looks a lot like a Bath & Body Works candle, and this thing was only $4 and change. I paid $5 in total for it, and it is called Campfire Tree. It is made by 719 Walnut Avenue. Does that not look like um, Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works? It smells just like it too. Oh my god. And they even have like a mahogany teak wood. Like there's a lot of scents there that smell identical to the Bath and Body Works line. I was really impressed with this. This smells identical to Marshmallow Fireside. So if you're into that, which I am, I love Marshmallow Fireside. You gotta pick this up. It's like $4 and change. I couldn't believe it. And it looks like a Bath and Body Works candle. Anyway, the last place was Joann's, and I don't really go into Joann's very often. I'm glad we went this time, though. Actually, we went in there to look for a bathroom. 
But um, this is for one of my projects, so I'm working on a few different things, but... Oh, he dokey. I have been, like, hoarding ribbon lately. Anyway, I got... Two in this transparent... I think it's a brown. But this is ribbon. These were 25 cents each. I got this really nice brown. I got two of those. I got the same type in a white more of an ivory-esque color to it and each one of these has five yards ah, i've gotten rolls that had more than that on there but i'm not gonna put my nose up to it for 25 cents then i got this really gorgeous blue i'm gonna try to go back and get more because this is definitely something to stock up on even like just to use on like Christmas gifts just to add that little extra flair. I mean, you can't go wrong with the price. It's just like mind blowing. And I really like this blue. Now the other two, they were marked 97 cents on plants, but they rang up 50 cents, which just made my day. The first one I got, now this also, okay, this has nine feet, but it's got pictures on it. So that's normally why you get less. This one has butterflies on it. And it's really cute, very cute. The next one's my absolute favorite for 50 cents. I'm like happier than a pig and you know what? It is hedgehogs and little red mushrooms. Look, look at that. Hey, be nice. Hedgehogs. Can you see the hedgehogs? Look, they're so cute. They're, they're, they're too cute. I love it. I love it for 50 cents. So I've been trying. I had a bunch of ribbon and then I got rid of it. Now I'm into ribbon again. I mean, I'm just like all over the place, this girl. Anyway, guys, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I know it wasn't very long. But I went out like on a spare of the moment kind of thing and you know me and my clearance. So I thought I would show you what I found. And I'm telling you guys, this candle is incredible. I haven't burned it yet. But you gotta go, go check it out. If anybody else has tried these 719 Walnut Avenue candles um, from Walmart, please let me know your thoughts on them. How do they burn? Uh, how did you like the fragrance? How was the throw? I will be doing a review on this as well when I get to burning it. To let you all know, inquiring minds want to know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, or, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.